I feel like I embarrassed myself in front of the guys what do you in mean? the office. I just feel like I embarrassed myself, Al. We went. Did they see your pink underwear? No. <laughs> I haven't worn those in a while because mm. I got made fun of last mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm, I bet. We went indoor skydiving. Yeah. And I was walking in there thinking, I'm going to be a stud because I've done real skydiving. I jumped out of a plane. Mm-hmm. Big Al went with us, so I knew that I wouldn't be the worst. And I didn't go, <laughs> and so I was simple. I wasn't able to go, and I was kind of I wanted to. I just had some work to do, and I wasn't yeah. feeling good. And I told JC I showed him a funny photo of indoor skydivers, like all li- aligned, you know, hanging in the air. And I'm like, we got to get a funny photo. Of, it like, looks you and me and Al stacked on top yeah. of each other. And JC goes, Jenna. I mean, I've done this before, but it's going to be really hard. Like, he was kind of condescending about it. Like, it's going to be like, this could be really hard. It it looked easy in pictures. And I really didn't know what to expect. So we had Al going with us. We also had video guy Nick. Uh, We had the Chickering, a.k.a. McGruber, with us, who happened to be a pro skydiver. He's done, like, the X Games and stuff. So we knew he was was going to be good. Then we had Trey, the Kelly Raspberry bounty hunter, Pert. And, uh, oh my gosh! And, and our Dish Nation camera guy, Sean. So we had a good group. Yeah. Out of all those people, I think I came in second to last. I oh, suck. Well, it's so hard to judge, though. I mean, you're floating in the air. So how, a good floater yeah, right. or a bad yeah. floater? I mean, you're floating in the. But air. it's all body control. I, I figured out. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't control my body well enough to do this thing. And what indoor skydiving is, because I did not know before we went, you're in this you're in this uh, tube, this cylinder that's probably a 15, maybe 20 foot in diameter, and the floor is like um, a netting. It's some a netting. Type it's of, like uh, steel wire, netting. Wire netting. Yeah. So you stand on that, um, or you float on top of that. Air is coming from below that up at you, Whoa. probably about... A hundred miles an hour. No yeah. lie. It's, it's because you can see that, like... We, we have all the footage, actually, we're looking at yeah. in, well, in horror on Kid TV so, right so it's, now. So it's blowing up, at, and, you, and you float as if you're falling out of an airplane, but you're not. Yeah. You're in and, this controlled little deal. It's uh, it's enclosed. And you if you've gone really skydiving out of a plane, it's a little bit different, because in this one, you want to do more of a Superman pose, where your arms are right in front of you, and your yeah. legs are a little more stiff. Yeah. Out of the bunch of the group, when you chickering was going to be good. Big Al Mac. Al is rocking it. Oh. Al. Big Al Mac was ridiculously awesome at this. He might. He kind of looked like a <laughs> stiff board floating. He looks like a pro. Yeah. You know why? Because he went in with zero expectation. I did. I really that's did. That's why, JC. You went in thinking, I'm an athlete. I got to show these people, and that's what screwed you up. Yeah. And, your he, head. and then I started and feeling. Relaxed. I bet it's because I was even more relaxed. And there's people, yeah, I think it was, I couldn't relax as well, as good as I wanted to. And there's people sitting around you like a stadium almost. Mm-hmm, they're and waiting the, to do it. And so. the first thing I noticed when I'm, when my first time that I went, because we went twice, mm-hmm. I all this drool starts coming out of my mouth it's, and it starts weird. hit me in the face and there's this lady that I'm making eye contact right in front of me and I'm like, this is embarrassing. I need yeah. to wipe this off. Yeah, if you've ever like ridden in the back of a truck or ridden a bike or a motorcycle or something really fast, you know, the wind hits you in the face, you know, your water just, your nose yeah. starts running and, and you can't wipe your face because you're supposed to keep your arms extended. So, and there's people looking at you. So I'm like, oh man, I'm like slobbering all over my face when I can't wipe it out because I do, I'll like tumble or something. But the experience itself was actually very, very cool. I, I went in, I was a little scared at first. But it's not scary a little scary at all, right? It's not scary at all. But anytime they have to give you like a brief tutorial of what you're about to do, yeah. I figure something might be up. <laughs> something could happen. And the problem is, Al, you did do great. And, and you looked cool doing it. Thank and you. it's loud in there. And you're sitting in this tube. And you can't hear a thing. You can't hear a thing except when Big Al Matt goes. You could hear him the entire time going, Oh. Was, he, was he burping like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory no, floating Jenna, to the top? You can't burp, Jenna. Just, oh. you can't burp, did, he have, did you have fizzy lifting drink before you did that? Were you drunk? Dude, I'm telling you, no, what, this was, it's it fun. was actually fun. You we can, recommend it. it. You can float like a foot off the ground or, or like 10, 15, 20 feet in the air. And then you freak out when you go that high and yeah. then you fall down really hard. You can watch the video on Kid TV. Go to Kid TV, Kid watch Nation. the video. It's actually very fun, yeah. Subscribe now for more videos from Kid Craddock in the Morning. And check us out at KidNation.com. It's Kid Craddock in the Morning.